Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to go over the kinetic energy of an ejected electron. So let's get going. So it starts by saying here that if a photon with energy equal to the work function of a metal is instant on the metal, an electron will be ejected but will have no kinetic energy. If the energy of the instant photon HF is greater than the work function of the metal HF0, then the extra energy will be given to the electron in the form of kinetic energy, EK. And by conservation of energy, we have this relationship here, which you get on the relationship sheet in the exam. So it says that EK is equal to HF minus HF0. So this means that the maximum kinetic energy of an emitted photoelectron, EK, is equal to the energy of the instant photon, which is HF, minus the work function of the metal, which is HF0. Or in other words, the difference between these two energies tells us the energy that the electrons have when they've been emitted from the metal surface. And this energy will be in the form of kinetic energy. So what do the symbols mean? Well, we say that EK is the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectron measured in joules, H is Planck's constant measured in joule seconds, and remember that's on the data sheet in your exam, F is the frequency of the instant photon measured in hertz, and F0 is the threshold frequency measured in hertz. So for example, in a question, you might be given the work function of a metal and the frequency of the instant radiation. And in that case, you could use Planck's constant from the data sheet, multiply it by the frequency you're given, and subtract the work function that you're given in the question in order to calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectrons. The question might also ask you to calculate the maximum speed of the emitted photoelectrons, in which case you could use the kinetic energy that you've calculated from this equation and then make it equal to a half mv squared from the equation ek equals a half mv squared in order to find what v is, the speed of the emitted photoelectrons. Now I'll just show you two analogies that will help you understand what we're talking about here. Now the two analogies are quite similar but the first one is called taxi to town. So consider this scenario, let's say you want to go into town to hang out with your mates. However, the bus drivers are on strike, town is too far away to walk, and you have no money for a taxi. A taxi to town costs £10. If your parents loan you £8, you stay at home and do nothing. If they loan you £10, you can get into town, but you don't have any money left over to do anything once you're there, so it might be a bit pointless. But if they loan you £15, you can get into town and still have £5 left over to buy some lunch. And we can use this analogy to think about the photoelectric effect and the kinetic energy that the electrons have when they are emitted from the metal surface. So here we can think about the money as being energy. And the taxi to town costing £10, that is the minimum amount of money or minimum amount of energy that we need to get into town. And we can think about getting into town as being the required result. That's what we want to happen. We want electrons to be emitted from a metal surface. So getting into town is the same as ejecting electrons from a metal surface here. So because the minimum amount of money to get into town is £10, we could say that that is the minimum amount of energy needed to cause photo emission to take place. So that means that the £10 here is like our work function of the metal. And if your parents loan you £8, you stay at home and do nothing. So if the energy of the instant photons is smaller than the work function of the metal, then no photo emission will take place, i.e. you're not getting into town. However, if you have £10, you can get into town. So this is the same as saying that if you're your instant photons have an energy equal to the work function of the metal, then you can just eject electrons from the metal surface, but they're not going to move off with any speed. They'll just be emitted and no more. And that's the same as getting into town, but once you're there, you're not able to do anything. And lastly, if your parents loan you £15, you can get into town and still have £5 left over to buy some lunch. That is the same as saying that your instant photons now have an energy greater than the work function of the metal, and therefore electrons are going to be ejected from the metal surface and move off with some non-zero kinetic energy, i.e. there's some energy left over that the electrons have that they can move off with. So not only are the electrons going to be emitted from the surface, they're going to move off with some kinetic energy and speed. The second analogy is quite similar, and this is called the vending machine analogy. So let's say you want to buy a Mars bar from a vending machine. The Mars bar costs £1 due to the rising cost of inflation. You check your pockets and you only have 50p. Initially, you're unable to buy the Mars bar, so it stays where it is. If your friend loans you 50p, you now have £1 to buy the Mars bar with no change provided. However, if your friend loans you £1, you now have enough money to buy the Mars bar and your original 50p left over. Jackpot. So again, we can use this to think about the photoelectric effect. This time the work function is £1 because that is the minimum cost we need to get a Mars bar, i.e. the minimum energy required to cause photo emission to take place. So again, we can think about the money here as energy. So if your instant photons have an energy smaller than the work function, 
then you don't get any photo emission taking place, you don't get the Mars bar. But with a 50p loan from your pal, you now have one pound to buy the Mars bar. So you're able to buy the Mars bar there. We do get photo emission taking place, but nothing else happens. The electrons are just being emitted from the surface and no more. However, with your one pound 50, you're able to buy the Mars bar and then have 50p left over. So that's the same as the instant photons having an energy greater than the work function, the one pound, and therefore photo electrons are emitted from the metal surface and move off with lots of kinetic energy which is similar to that 50p being left over. So hopefully these two analogies helped you to understand what's going on with the photoelectric effect. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.